my name is Ayrenge Julius. Ah. Yeah, I'm from Lagos State. I went to Gloom College. Okay. Yeah, but, and I studied at Olivia University, computer science okay. and mathematics. So I haven't gotten the chance to have my job, but I'm still going to anytime soon. So I'm just facing some kind of crisis and difficulties because of the country and the way it is. Because of the things we face in our country, it's not easy for every student to come out with a second class or a first class or, a, or, a talk, or even a, a pass. It's not really easy because of the thing that's going on in school is not really what's happening. It's actually bizarre, something else. So, so I'm just striving to become someone because they say education is power. So, what we're facing uh, more about me is that I'm so concerned about Nigeria. I'm concerned about what I print out, what I rep, what I represent. So Nigeria is my country, and I love Nigeria. But Nigeria leaders, I can't blame them because I don't really keep up with all that's going on. But I know what's happening because I watch the news. I'm just more concerned about my music and my dance, about my hustle, my street hustle, my vibe. Because I know I got the spirit in me. I know I have the danger. Because I don't send, say maybe Bahari something. The election going on, said, or oh, Ambadi. I just know that I represent Lagos, Nigeria. And I represent myself. Because I'm doing this for me. Because I'm tired of the shit life. I'm tired of the fucking life. Serving you the F word. But as a nigga. You can, you can be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, as, as a boy, as a man, as a trying to be a man because a man is someone that already has oil that is already made. That's what I know. And money brings it all. But if we put all our motives on money, we are not going to feel fulfilled. That's why I'm striving now, focusing on my talent and being out there. Because my words too are sharp like swords. They can actually tear through the troubles going through in the country and going through someone that needs companions and needs words to console the person. So I just need hear. I need ears to hear my voice, to hear what I have to say. And to listen to me and see that this boy is something great. And like, what's up, what's up, do something, like, do this, do this, do this. So someone can just get this. So that's what we're going on. So, all these problems in the country that you see, yeah. how do you see it in the streets or in the day-to-day -day life? How do you see these problems? Maybe it's politician corrupt or something, but how do you see it and feel it? Uh, the problems going on is that everybody that like acting, maybe you already have money now, they are acting up rich and they are playing the role real good because I've seen that you, all what's happening in Nigeria is all about power and rule and authority. So we're trying to the molest the poor, that's what I feel. And even the poor still molest themselves. So they really separate the rich from the poor and really, real big time. Even your own brother, even your own friend, your own family just happen to have money. It's going to feel, bring all kind of parts and just change you in a way. Trying to bring your spirit down just because of that currency, that paper, that man made. But the most important thing is us, because we are Nigeria. Every individual is the one that make up Nigeria. So that's why I have to stand up. So that's why our politicians, our leaders, have to focus on what they are doing. And truly, if they want this country to be better, they would have done it, and they can still do it. So they should just do it, and they should just free us. So all these things that are really happening, they should just Try and make it safe and peaceful. Because the real Nigeria is our deep man, it's our little ones. We have so many like children that people are just giving better anyhow. You know, I have so many baby mamas like this. They don't anyhow because the country, that's like it. And Nigeria, they are the, they are the ones that just live inside Nigeria. So we should just try and make this country make sense. Our leaders, Edjo, I can buy shit. Yeah, it's go wild key. Emma. I like it. And my bad go my lord did it. It's kind of any kind of Ah. See employment I be one kind of allowance. So I support the street, support the individual, support the students, support don't just shank everybody and just separate everything. I'm not forming one kind of fake life, one island side, one kind of trip life. 
you know, making people feel depressed, making people want to commit crime. How do you see the government trying to turn the poor against the poor? You see them trying to turn one community against another community, or uh, how do they, the, the, those poor communities, how does the government try to manipulate? Uh, I don't really know, because me, I don't really see my life as poor rich, but at the moment, I'm facing life. Now my landlord is the job, I'm surviving. So I don't even feel the call and see the stone square, the peg up and down, all kinds of things. I don't get, I don't really steal. But if I steal, that means something stop. And now my person push me. Because of the activities that happen at the moment that make a human being react. So many human beings are possessed by so many demons. So what do you think push a man to crime? Yes. What do you think push a good man to, to, crime. to do bad things? Yeah. Condition. Obsession, relation, competition. Sometimes they don't see that they do the person wish <laughs> from your uh, village, something like that. Okay, well, maybe like a bad habit from childhood, picking things that don't even belong to you from a small guest so used to it. From there, you picking something you don't give you that thinking that uh, this doesn't belong to me. Because what guides someone from taking someone's thing is because you know that it's not yours. So when you don't have that kind of belief or thought that this is not yours, or I'm just lending it, I'm doing it or anything. At least something from my friend or anything. Or, oh, oh, nobody, I just saw it. Or oh, look how he pissed me off, look how he acted. You don't understand. Or you came with me, you don't know what human being is facing. Maybe that day you want to make, that day you just felt that ah, this day. Not just for the person you want. Many demons will possess human beings from Nigeria. But deliverance don't happen. I like it, I like Jesus Christ, you know. He brings up the things that mean anything. It's just that I still talent. Like, I still rap, I still do things, I still flow. I still want to know that I still want this ego. I want Nigeria. I'm still repping my city. I know if you forget our city, you already know last kitty. But my nigga. Please stay safe. Use condom. You could get HIV AIDS. Or you could get syphilis. I'm going to be a young shaman. I'm a magoon. Magoon. I'm so fun. I'm not a son. I'm so a man. I'm a man. So, uh, as we go, so that will really happen. Nigeria is a lovely country. If everybody wants to be peaceful. But I know that Nigeria likes power. Like to show a press. Okay. Ah, that's what's happening. That's why our government is like that. They are oppressing themselves in that segment. So, yeah, I just did, you know, yeah. Graphics, I did graphics, I'm a graphic designer, and I, I also advertise for some company, beauty company, and fashion, and right? also get in fashion. So, do you, you know, like, do you think that any man, a bad man, if a man seems bad, is anyone bad from birth or they become bad? Do you think there are any just bad men who are through and through bad men or they okay. become bad men because of their environment? Yeah, some people. You think can, evil is a real thing? Mm, some can get bad because of no parents from birth. Like they didn't get the actual love, the true love that like child is meant to get. So we can get bad from school, friends, being left alone, burden on your own, and you have to stand up for yourself. So we can get bad through street. When you're into street, what they are telling you, and you've not spoken to so many people. So few people you spoke to, like friends, you just stick to their word, trust them just like that. Because from there, you get influenced into the issue, you know, you know about. So, that's how someone can get bad. And some people again can get bad naturally again, from above, written that you are just for bad. That's if you are feeling spiritual, right? Yeah. But, 
everyone can be good down me and you. We are all human, we have hearts. But it's how if someone grows. So if you go in an environment that you just do and okay, you go in an environment that every morning you break about to. Okay. You know how going and every morning, every morning you pray. The way those people are going to take life, maybe when they start advising them or it's going to be different. The one that prays is going to listen more and not that big because we are just trying to make an example. But the one that big because I already believe that that's his way, because that's where it's from, that's what I know. That Jesus, that one that brought up the Bible, still has to believe, even though he now learn the way that he has to be God to. You still remember because that's how he brought him or her up that remember. So that what can really help a man is that just bring up your child with the Lord. Bring up them with Christianity. Like you should teach them the way of the Lord from childbirth to, to at least 15 before you let them go. God give the grace to be alive with your kids. Just teach them the way of the Lord. Guide them. You see them, you know their friends and you see that it's bad to be their choice, not to be bad, because it's every individual that can be bad. You just have to know in our heart, because I don't know your thoughts, you don't know my thoughts. So, it's just every individual that has to know that we don't have to be bad. So, if we now train our upcoming ones in that way, because the Bible will tell you not to be bad. Do you so see politicians taking advantage of or using bad men for their purpose? Ever. But man, eh, that one is normal. We ain't about that story, but I didn't really focus on all that because I'm focused on my serious kind of lifestyle and you know, all trying to get the uh, you know the fame the money train, you know. Doing it for the love again and for the fans, the friends, family. So with Nigeria on you, know, Nigeria go better. All this one, all the action, the drama they do. They don't have to finish. Film and party, Nigeria will still go. Everybody can run go wherever, live forever. They just know. So they are really taking their time and enjoying it. That's what I just feel. But I just feel that you just don't waste your time life, man. It's just leave you, man. You should be happy that people are alive. You should just love life. Like you should be happy that a human is breathing. Even though you don't even have anything to offer, but you are even happy seeing someone alive. Because all these are Nigerian. The way we think, eh, okay, we have money now, we want to shop like we know, day. You don't forget to say, okay, if everybody now is good, they leave you alone, so you have to shop this life, you're tired. You don't like it again, that. You still need someone, you still need to see another human being. Either you show the human being love, or you try to oppress the human being. That's just the two things. So Nigeria, mostly, we just oppress the other to make ourselves feel better, just to feel on top of the world again. It's not supposed to be so. So, it's, man, it's just bad, but since that's the rule, if you don't follow that protocol, you keep on being the victim. So that's when you say you never sabi, you don't know anything to do, all this kind of thing. So, that's what's really happening in Nigeria. Nigeria is fucked up. <laughs> okay. But we still love our country, man. Nigeria is blessed. Yeah, you already know. I think we have enough. Diana. Yeah. So, I want to say thank you yeah. for your time. <laughs>